So here we go, it's Ackwood and Stanley, nil, Sunderland won at half time in the Calibor Cup at the Wham Stadium. Yes, and Sunderland have taken the lead through Mark McNulty. And it's no surprise, no surprise whatsoever that we actually go in front of the game when he's changed the system, we are playing 4-4-2. So we started the game with Burge in goal. Left back, Colin, Colin McLaughlin being moved from right back to left back. So 9 is at right back. Then we have Oz Turk. Yes, Oz Turk. The Turkish delight is back in the fold with Willis as his partner. In midfield, Powers come back in. Led Bitters come back in the captain. And then, of course, we're leading the game 1-0. We have the King Maguire starting his first game of the season as well. And on the, on the right-hand side, we've got Gooch. And then up front, we have uh, two strikers, Mark McNulty and Will Grigg. So the goal came about... By, it was a lovely low ball into the box. I'm not sure whether it was Leadbid or whether it was Gooch. I couldn't quite tell. Or might have been power. I'm not quite sure. But it was a brilliant low ball. And that's the key. You've got five foot eight strikers, five foot six strikers, or whatever they are. Keep the ball on the ground. No seven foot high balls up in the air. It's absolutely, it's like a breath of fresh air. Playing football on the ground, it's brilliant. Came through it inside the box. A fantastic ball. From Maguire, strong as an ox. Low ball, straight over the penalty spot. Will Grigg sort of dummied it. Went straight through to McNulty. McNulty come racing in on the right-hand side. And smashed it in the bottom left-hand side corner. Keeping no chance. 1-0 to Sunderland. Absolutely fantastic bit of football. A fantastic finish from Mark McNulty. That's what the boy is coming to do. And that's what he can do. Fantastic finish. So like I said before, it's, it's not rocket science. You don't overcomplicate the game of football. None of this wing-back system. The, 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 the players we have don't understand it. It's too confusing. Keep it simple. 4-4-2. 4-4-2 against the lesser side against Aguirre and Stanley. No disrespect to Aguirre and Stanley, but you're not your Ipswich, you're not your Portsmouth. Different cat of fish on Saturday against Portsmouth. But 4-4-2 today, nice and simple. Got Oz Turk back in. The big brick shithouse. The big brick shithouse. Back in the central defence with Willis. And then I say Colin McLaughlin's had a better game as left back than he did at right back against Ipswich. But Luke 9 solid, you know, brilliant right back, you know, makeshift right back. Absolutely fantastic find last season for right back. And again, he's doing a good job. But the King Maguire. You have you have you have someone like Chris Maguire in the team who gives everything to the cause. He's a hundred and ten percent sun them through and through at this moment in time. Absolutely brilliant. And he's strong as an ox. Absolutely fabulous. And we've just seen what Mark McNaughtley can do when he gets the ball played at his feet. So hopefully now the wing big the wing big the wing back system has been, you know, just like scrubbed up in the big ball. Big ball of wing back systems and throwing in the ball, the football ball of rubbishy bins. Binsy rubbishy bins. That's it. That made any sense whatsoever? Probably not. Because it came out of my mouth. But there we go. It's 1 0 at half time. I mind you, it's not like the games are dead and buried. Accurate and Stanley have had some good chances themselves. Because now we're playing two front. The midfield is more wide open. So they had a good chance. One yard out to score the goal. And he fell on the ball. Is it possible? It happened. That's what happened. So at half time, it's 1 0. Let's hope. You know, this team's going to gel together. Let's hope the team can grow as this 4-4-2 system gets better and better for this match alone for the second half. And hopefully, we can go out and win this game 2-3-0 or and progress into the next round of the Carabao Cup. And we'll see you at full time. Happy days. So the second half started. And like last season, there wasn't much urgency in the second half. And Aggret and Stanley equalised through a penalty. Yes, Conor McLaughlin, he made a bit of a... Bit of a push in the back of one of the Akron and Stanley players, push them down in the box. Really sloppy. He's been one of the players so far this season. It hasn't sort of been firing all cylinders. There's been a few of those players, but Conor McLaughlin out of the new boys seems to be taking more time to find his feet. And he sort of lost his foot and then pushed that Akron and Stanley player down in the box. And they had a penalty and the duly equalised. So it was one to Peach. And I thought, here we go again. Our favourite scoreline, one's a Peach. Then it was time for Aidan McGeady. He came on for Will Grigg. Yes, Will Grigg wasn't fantastic again tonight. He's had a poor start of the season. But Aidan McGeady, the marvellous, the majestic, the magnificent, the motivational, the magical Aidan McGeady waltzed past 
three players and slotted the ball past the hapless goalkeeper in the left hand side. Bottom corner, fantastic finish just inside the box. What a goal to take a 2 1 lead. And then later on, Mark McNulty done loads of work on the right hand side, cut the ball across, and Charlie White taps it in for 3 1. My man of the match has to go to Mark McNulty. Oh, what an awesome workhorse this lad is. Never stopped all night. Never gives up a lost cause. Absolutely fantastic player. Having a great, great match tonight. Scoring a great goal and smashing one against the crossbar to boot. So, good players. We had Maguire's had a good run out. Brilliant run out. And McGeady's come on and scored an absolutely brilliant goal. To the M&M's, the Maguire, the McNulty and the McGeady does the business tonight. Absolutely brilliant. Also, good run out from Power, led better. And like I said, Virgin goal with great handling. So, we've gone through to the next round of the Cup, the Carabao Cup. And it's been a great, great night. You know, considering how we've been over the last few weeks. This has been a good finish. A good finish you know, tonight's match. It's been great the way Jack Ross has actually changed the system. I hate managers. Managers who stick, you know, uh, just stubborn to change a system. Stubborn to change the ways. But Jack Ross, you know, has seen the light. He's gone 4-4-2. Four, four, I'm not saying it's going to work every single time. But we have the firepower. We have great, you know, great midfielders. Great forwards in McNulty tonight been brilliant and McGee just scoring a great goal and Charlie White getting fitter hopefully Charlie White will start scoring a few goals now when he gets an opportunity but you know now we've got Oz Turk in defence we needed Oz Turk back in defence the Ox the Turkish delight alongside Willis if that set up partnership and stay together if Jack Ross can keep this partnership together and grow them together this could be a good partnership we have a we get this, we get this defence sorted out and we can keep some clean sheets. We get Conor McLaughlin back in his right position and right back. Get a left back in. And get a solid defence. The mid, the abundance of forward thinking midfielders we have got. Will supply McNulty, Greg and White. With, a, with a, the assists. And we will score a hatful of goals. Yes, a hatful of goals. This League One campaign. So long as Jack Ross doesn't go negative. And doesn't make things too difficult. Leave the wing back systems Another for you know for for another manager another team. Let's just just play our four five one or our four four two whatever suits the game we're playing. Because even with one up front four five one against the better sides, we have fantastic midfielders who can score goals. And if the four four two works, keep playing it. If it keeps working, we keep playing it. We keep scoring a shit full of goals, a load of goals. We're in matches and be happy days. But this is only this is only the beginning. You know, we've been playing poorly so far for the first two matches. He's been chopping and changing systems and sides and team around. What's he gonna pick for Portsmouth? Is another conundrum for me. Is he gonna pick the same side as tonight? Is he going well, obviously he won't because he won't have Burgeon goal, it'd be McLaughlin Black and goal. But who will he have in midfield? Will he keep Gibson and McGeoch or will he keep the power led bitter? Or will he do a combination of the two? And which midfielders is he going to play? McGeady and Maguire. Those two are absolutely brilliant when on full, you know, fully fit in midfield. Absolutely. Matt McNulty. McNulty, you are my man of the match tonight. Absolute fantastic game tonight. That's what we brought you in to do. And that's what it says on the tin. And that's what you've done. That's what it says on the Mark McNulty's tin. Well done. Well done, Sunderland. I know it's only a little stepping stone. But we're in the next round of the cup. But the league is the most important thing. And we need to try and get three points against Portsmouth. But it's positive. It's confidence. We're going to grow in confidence after tonight. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, hopefully, he's seen the light. Jack Ross has seen that light. Or has he seen this light? Or has he seen this light? Thank God he's seen the light and getting rid of that wing-back system. And we'll see you on Saturday when we play Portsmouth. Okay, tomorrow, the review of the Portsmouth match will be coming up. So leave your score predictions on that video, not this one. I will catch you later. Happy days. McGeady's Magical Mystery 2 is going to blow you away. Going to blow you away, blow you away.